I introduced the next topic, which is the uh, encoding decision optimization using VMAF. So we, we came up with this uh, particular framework we call Dynamic Optimizer. Uh, what it does is we can process video encoding on a per shot basis. Um, so for each shot, we have multiple encodes. We collect their, their bit rates and their, uh, um, their quality in terms of VMAF. And this uh, dynamic optimizer, DO, will be able to find the best encoding path that will give the best average VMAF quality for a given bit rate. And by doing that, we'll be able to construct very similar diagram like these. As you can see, there are different colors representing uh, different uh, codecs combining with whether you're applying uh, um, uh, dynamic optimizer optimization or not. Right? So for example, for VP9, right, even for the same codec, uh, the green curve shows there it's pushing the, the boundary of this uh, ray distortion curve compared to, uh, for example, the orange one, which does VP9 uh, mobile, which doesn't do this uh, DO optimization. So you can see there is still space to boundary to be pushed uh, that this framework can bring you benefits. And the interesting part of this is that if you look at the curve, it looks very similar to the ones we do coded comparison. So very similarly, we can compute uh, BD rate based, based on this curve. So if you have a, the same uh, dynamic optimization applied to different codecs, we can again do a codec comparison based on those results. The benefit of doing that is that in this case, we don't have to worry about what resolution you're com um, comparing in. Right? Everything is folded into this one diagram where you uh, really comparing at the, the operating region that really matters in practice, because these are the ones that you're going to be using in, in production. 